would love to know what your thoughts, how you would describe empowerment. And I'm not talking about the boundaries that somebody physically works within, but in terms of their perception of their own ability, how would you describe empowerment? Such a great question. You've got great questions, Lisa. <laughs> but my, um, I, I, over the last number of years, I have had personally feelings of absolute empowerment. I've got the complete trust of my team, my brand, my support network. I'm in front of that. And I've gone to stages where I felt, I don't have any empowerment at all. And it goes back to your statement before, Lisa, about the power of that personal brand. A lot of it comes from confidence in yourself and knowing that you are a confident, successful, aspiring maybe, but still confident salesperson. Empowerment allows you to make decisions. It allows you to know that you've got confidence with the team behind you, I've got your back. Mm -hmm. We've kind of moved in a culture now where I mentioned briefly before that ownership is changing a lot of hotels, brands are changing in hotels, the, the structure of the organization is changing in hotels, and the salespeople want to be confident. And increasingly, I'm seeing a lot of salespeople who are hiding behind other people making decisions for them. They're not feeling empowered to step on the edge and go, you know what, I'm here to make a decision and I'm going to take a, a calculated risk because I know you as my customer. Mm -hmm. and, and that's something that goes back to my, my previous point about your confidence, about the training, the development you've had. Mm -hmm. Empowerment is such an important piece to give you the ability to walk in front of a customer and go, hey, let's do a deal today. And I know I'll get it right because I have the back of my hotel. If I offer something that we need to consult about, we'll deal with that afterwards and we'll find a solution and we can work towards that. Mm -hmm. But I think nowadays with some of the bigger chains developing people internally, which is a great thing, we have a huge culture within the hotels I'm working in to, to drive internal salespeople because they know the brand, they know the ways of working, but what they don't know is maybe the confines of how sales works. And we're maybe expecting them to jump into a role quicker than they may be able to do or feel confident to do. We also have a gap nowadays in a large number of companies where we've taken layers of business out. Business is becoming slightly leaner, and there's good reason for that. I completely accept that. But by doing that, we're, we're probably giving people roles that were bigger than they were maybe five, certainly 10 years ago when I first, or 20 years ago when I first started in sales, that we're asking them to do more. We're giving them bigger shoes to fill. And are we giving the support, confidence, training, and the cultural of the business training to support that again as well? Which, if we get all that right in the foundations, we get the foundations right, we get the bricks at the base right, it will build that confidence up because we understand our business, we understand what the impact of getting that right is, but we also understand the impact of getting that wrong. And giving somebody the confidence to walk into either a client meeting, an internal staff meeting with one of your team to say actually we're gonna make this decision and we're gonna do it now it gives you that confidence and i think on your point before will advance the relationship quicker and will allow you to gain more gravitas with your clients as well. hi i'm lisa i hope you enjoyed the film if you did please like and share and if you've got any comments or any questions just leave them in the box below and i'll come back to you there also, the links to my website, Powerful Success, are below as well. Have a little look around there. And I hope you enjoy the channel and have a really lovely day. Thank you.